In today's video, I just want to show you how to insert images into a website using HTML. It's quite a simple task. Uh, to get started today, you're going to need to go into your web design folder, make yourself a new folder called Inserting Images, and inside of there, you should have an Images folder with whatever picture you want to insert into your web page. In this case, I've got a picture of a puppy. All right, so once you have got your Inserting Images folder created, and your images folder inside of that we're ready to get started in brackets so we're going to pop over to brackets and make ourselves a new file and we're just simply going to save that before we start typing I'm just going to go into my account here find the folder I just created I'm not going to save it in the images folder I'm going to save it outside of that and I just want to call this images.html that .html extension just tells the computer we are making a web page. So click save once you've done that and we are ready to get started. So I'm going to start the coding like we always do with the doc type HTML tag at the top and then we're going to open up our HTML tags to say we're about to create a web page. First section we type in is the head section. Remember we just put a title at the top and the title for today's activity is just inserting images. Okay, we've got no style sheet to link up, so we'll just keep moving. That's the head section done. We'll go down to the body section now. So this is the section that's going to actually appear inside our web browser. Okay, now to put a picture in, all we need to do is open up a pointy bracket and write the tag IMG, and then do a space, and write SRC, which stands for source. So that's basically saying image, source, let me write equals, and we're going to choose where our image is saved on our computer. So brackets gives me a bit of a hint. It knows that I've got an images folder, so I'm going to click on that. And inside of that images folder, we've got the puppy.jpg picture. So I'm going to click on that. And if I close off my pointy bracket now, I should have an image appear in my web page. So all it is is pointing to the image source. So image source equals, and just tells you where on your account you can find that picture. So I'm going to press Control S to save that and just hit my live preview lightning bolt over on the, over on the right hand side to test that out. And there we go, we've got a web page with a picture in it. It's as simple as that. Now you can get a little bit more fancy if you want. Um, going back inside the pointy bracket there, after the quotation marks, you can adjust the width and the height, for example. So you might make the width 300. And you can put a space after that and stick the height in. Uh, what can we do the height? We can make it 100. Okay, it's just a rough guess. See if that looks any good. I'll save it. A little bit deformed, but you can see that the picture has resized. Okay, if you don't know what height to make it, you can just resize the width only. And what that will do, it will automatically scale the height so it fits perfectly. Okay, it doesn't deform the image in any way. Alright, so that's a very quick tutorial on how to insert images into your web page.